Welcome back, Devils fans, and likely some Rangers fans. Quick note to Rangers fans, please keep it classy. A lot of you have been around here lately. Some of you have been friendly. Some of you have been super jerk-offs. But some of you have been friendly. Let's keep it classy. I'm here to preview something I have been anxiously awaiting for a week and a half now, and that is Fight Night at MSG, baby! We have a super heavyweight tilt on deck. That is the upcoming super big boy fight. Matt Rempe of the New York Rangers and Curtis McDermott of the New Jersey Devils. This fight will be one round for the heavyweight championship of the Hudson. The last time the Devils and Rangers met on February 22nd at The Rock in Newark, New Jersey, the New York Rangers absolutely pummeled the New Jersey Devils up and down the ice. Matt Rempe delivered a devastating hit to Devils forward Nathan Bastion that left him crumpled and bloodied on the ice. Contact was made to the head, and in the old league, this would have been a clean hit, but that was not the case in the current league. Bastion crumpled and bloodied. Jonas Siegenthaler tries to be a good teammate, skate over, try to challenge Rempe. Rempe quickly dummies him with two quick shots, puts him on the ice. Rempe got a match penalty and was thrown out of the game. We never had our chance for revenge because he was gone. And even if he wasn't out of the game, we did not have the personnel at the time to properly address the situation. About a week later, we make a trade with Colorado to bring in Curtis McDermott, a true heavyweight NHL enforcer. And this is the equivalent of getting your ass kicked on the playground and coming back with your big brother. We are coming into MSG tomorrow with our big brother, Curtis McDermott. A quick recap on Matt Rempe. Rempe came into the league a few weeks ago and has absolutely brought fighting back in a big way. He's bringing back old-time hockey. He has ignited New York City and woke up the NHL Enforcers League-wide. His rise only may be rivaled by Jeremy Lin and Lin Sanity. And while I absolutely hate the Rangers, I absolutely love what this kid is doing for the league and for hockey worldwide. Everyone's talking about it. It's must-see TV. His clips are going viral. On February 18th, in his first NHL game, on his first NHL shift in the stadium series at MetLife against the New York, New York Islanders, he has a nice little scrap with Matt Martin. Six days later, on February 24th, during pregame warm-ups, he schedules a fight with tough guy Nicholas Delorier of the Flyers, and this one did not disappoint when they fought. Absolute, absolute tilt. Easily fight of the year, if not fight of the past decade in the league. The clip goes viral and Rempe is officially the new kid on the NHL enforcer block. The very next day on February 25th against Columbus, another pregame scheduled bout, this time with another absolute tough guy, Matthew Olivier. They scheduled this during warmups, talking to each other and another one that did not disappoint. Great fight. Rempe was definitely more on the receiving end in this one, but an absolute great fight. For Rempe, and now the league is on fire. About a week later, March 2nd, in Toronto against the Leafs, Rempe takes on longtime NHL tough guy Ryan Revo Reeves. They dance at center ice on the Maple Leaf in another entertaining bout for the fans. What a rise through the NHL heavyweight ranks it has been for Matt Rempe, and he is now the new it guy in the league. Curtis McDermott has not been nearly as active. His only fight on the 23-24 season was on November 13th against the Seattle Kraken in a bout in which he easily handled his opponent. Former Devil and former Ranger, current NHL Network analyst Mike Rupp called McDermott the toughest guy in the national. These modern day gladiators will meet tomorrow night at the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden at 7 p.m. as the New York Rangers host the New Jersey Devils in what is a must-see matchup. You don't want to miss it. Live on MSG, live on NHL Network for the entire world. Everyone will be watching. Now let's get to the tale of the tape. Matt Rempe, 21 years young. Curtis McDermott, 29 years old. Matt Rempe standing at a towering 6'7". Curtis McDermott at a very respectable 6'5". Their current arm lengths are unknown. However, we believe Rempe will have the advantage here as Matt Martin said the reach of Rempe was longer than Zdeno Chara 
And being that Rempy's two inches taller, we expect Rempy to have the arm length advantage. Rempy weighing in at 241 for the bout. Curtis McDermott at 233. And their actual weights on game night are unknown. This is a matchup between two absolute monsters. Obviously, there's very bad blood between the teams. The last time they played, Rempy got the better. The Devils crumpled Bastion to the ice. Knocked Siegenthal out of the ice with two punches. And now our new big brother, Curtis McDermott, is back for his pound of flesh. There will be blood. You don't want to miss it. Let me know in the comments if you think the fight's actually going to happen. I can't see why it wouldn't. It seems inevitable. It seems that the stars are aligning for what could be one of the greatest fights of the season. I am super pumped for it. One of the only things left as a Devils fan to look forward to for the rest of the season was this very game, this very matchup. It will be absolutely beautiful. For the theatrics purpose, I hope they do it right at center ice on the Ranger logo. We'll just add a little bit to it. And I am super pumped for this one. Let me know in the comments who you think is going to win the fight. How long do you think it'll take to happen? Do you think maybe they'll fight more than once? I am super jacked for this one. Let me know. Talk about anything in the comments. I love talking to you all. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. Until next time, friends, let's go devil.